Nation, your grow to place for all things food. And today, it's all about greenhouses. You see, a greenhouse is a tiny plastic toy that you can play with. Oh, it's Tara. Not that greenhouse, Spencer. A greenhouse for fruits and vegetables? Right, I knew that. <laughs> As I was saying, <clears throat> here in Canada, we have something called winter. And greenhouses allow us to grow our favorite fruits and vegetables locally in warm environments all year round. I like to think of them as plant factories. On the flip side, when we don't use greenhouses, we have to import our produce. Oh, by the way, I love tomatoes. This tomato was grown in a local greenhouse, and this tomato was grown abroad and delivered to Canada. Oh, tomato, the things you must have seen on your journey to my kitchen table. All right, passengers, our journey begins in the warm and sunny fields of Mexico. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we depart, please keep in mind that your nutritional value will decrease as your journey progresses, okay? We'll need you to wash off all that outdoorsy stuff. We don't want to get those seats dirty, okay? Ha, huh, much better. Ready for departure? All right, good. Road trips are fun, aren't they? Now fasten your seatbelts, okay? This is gonna be a bumpy ride. And we've arrived. The local weather here in Canada is cold, so please stay warm here in the grocery store until a lovely family takes you home for dinner, okay? Thank you, bye-bye now. Whoa, you've come so far, haven't you, Tom? Oh, this is Tom. We bonded during the flashback. Now, what about you, Greenhouse Tomato? What was your journey like? <clears throat> what was your journey like? Weird, that's never happened before. But how am I supposed to find out what a greenhouse is like? How, how? <gasps> Aha! I know, this is the perfect job for Tyra and Kid Food Nation Hero Lee. In the meantime, I'm gonna make myself a tomato sandwich. Oh, greenhouse in the foot, greenhouse in the foot. Ah, ah. Coming up on Kid Food Nation, I'll show you how to build your very own DIY greenhouse right at home, no tools required. Plus, we're getting up close and personal with some friendly bugs and bees. But first, Tyra and Lee get the inside scoop on growing fruits and vegetables, well, inside. Hi. And I'm a Kid Food Nation hero. I'm 11 years old, I live in Toronto, and I love to cook. So much so that I actually grow my own fruits and veggies right in my own backyard. The best part is I get to see my yummy foods grow from this to this. So you know that I can't wait for the greenhouse adventure. Okay, Spencer just texted me about greenhouses, and she needs a bandage for her foot. I'm not sure how those two things are related. But what I do know is that we're here at Nature Fresh Farms to explore how our fresh produce is grown locally all year round. Want to do the honors? Cue flashy greenhouse montage. This place is so impressive. Hi, Isaac. Hi, and welcome to Nature Fresh Farms. Our facility spans 200 acres of greenhouse farms, one of the largest concentration of greenhouses in North America, and we are known for our cucumbers, tomatoes, and peppers. Wow, that's a lot of ground to cover. It sure is, so let's get suited up and go into the greenhouse. This is where we grow our tomatoes. Okay, I totally know what hydroponics means, but you know, for the audience at home, could you tell us? For them, not for me, I know what it means. Hydroponics. Hydroponics is growing all our vegetables without soil. How do you grow tomatoes without soil? All our plants are grown in coconut fiber, which are made from coconut husk. And this is the coconut fiber. And what about water? Everything needs water to grow, right? Yes, absolutely. All the water and nutrient comes down this white tube and then in through the spike down into the plant. These are the heating rails. We've got gas boilers that produce hot water, so the warm water passes through the tube rails and the radiant heat heats the greenhouse. 
Now this is how we pick a tomato. Put your hand underneath the cluster, grab the other one by the stem, and then just pull it down. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. There you go. One last step. Let's get these tomatoes to the packing center. Nice packing skills. Who are you going to send those to? I'll give you one hint. She loves tomatoes, and she has a foot injury. <laughs> Tomato delivery. Fresh, local produce from non-GMO seeds. Mmm. Did you know you can make your very own greenhouse at home? All you need is a jar, water, fast sprouting seeds, and some scrunched up paper towel. First thing, grab your paper towel and place in your jar. You're gonna wanna leave one to two inches so that your seeds have room to grow. Next up, add some water to your paper towel. Not too much, you don't want it to get all mushy and soggy. It's time to place your seed inside. Nice and cozy. Seal up your jar. This creates a greenhouse for the seeds. They'll stay warm and moist in there. Place the jar near a window. Seeds need sunlight to grow. And within a couple of days, the seed will start to germinate. Germination is when the roots of the seeds start to grow. The seeds will sprout and you'll have a tiny little plant. Ta-da! And that's the same process greenhouses use to grow their own produce too. So cool, right? And there you have it, your very own, your very own, <clears throat> your very own green, one second. I'll be back. I guess pests are a real thing when dealing with crops. I wonder how they handle this at the real greenhouse. Hey, Tyra, I have another question. It's Spencer. Something's bugging her. She needs our help. Again. Some sort of pest problem? Pests? I got this, Tyra. We're about to meet the Bug Brigade. Wait. <laughs> Do we have to? Don't worry, these are good bugs. Let's go. Hi, Tara. Hey, Lee. I'm Tina. I'm from the Bug Brigade. We're an integrated pest management team here at Nature First Farms who combat bad bugs with good bugs. Good bugs? Like the kind in animated movies that talk and save the day? Uh, well, sort of. We actually rely on 19 different species of beneficial insects known as good bugs to manage pest populations in our greenhouses. For every pest, you have multiple good bugs. How can you tell what a bad bug and a good bug is? Is there a naughty or a nice list or something? A good example for a bad bug would be a whitefly, a thrip, or an aphid. And an example for a good bug, we have persimilis, a lacewing, or a ladybugs. They're actually general predators and will eat pretty much any bad bug that's in the greenhouse. I actually like to call them the sharks of the bio world. World. Cool. These aren't the only good bugs we have in the greenhouse. Follow me. In order to pollinate our tomatoes in our greenhouses, we use bumblebees. Tomatoes are fruit. They need help pollinating. Cucumber and pepper crops self-pollinate. In the box, you've got your customary hive, and the biggest one in there is the queen bee. I truly want to thank you, bees, for all your hard work. Without you, we wouldn't be able to pollinate all these delicious fruits. A fruit? Wait, why did Tyra call a tomato a fruit? Now that I think of it, the scout also called it a fruit. Tomatoes are fruit. But fruits are strawberries, bananas, and grapes. And vegetables are peppers and cucumbers and tomatoes? Welcome to What's It Good For? Tomato Edition. Yes, it is true, the tomato is a fruit. You see, a fruit is defined as the edible part of a plant that contains seeds, while a vegetable is the edible roots, stems, and leaves of the plant. Fun fact, there are over 10,000 varieties of tomatoes. There's the beefsteak, the tomberry, the roma, the heirloom, the grape, the cherry. Is anyone as excited about tomatoes as I am? Anyone? Hello? Well, you would be if you knew that tomatoes are rich in vitamin C, which is an essential nutrient and antioxidant. And lastly, did you know that over 250,000 tons of tomatoes are produced in Canadian greenhouses every year? That's a value of over $500 million. Wait, 
500 million? What am I still doing here? I gotta start a tomato farm. See you, Spence. Tyra, Tyra, are you still there? Oh well. PC Children's Charity wants to put the power of food in your hands. You can check them out at ytv.com backslash kidfoodnation to learn more about the movement. I should probably check on Tyra, but first, I'm gonna make myself a tomato sandwich. Bye! Oh, oh no, greenhouse on the phone again. I won't be